For the sewing machine coaster, I will be using washaway stabiliser with cutaway stabiliser floated on top. My 5x7 hoop, scissors, masking tape, threads. I've got matching bobbin for the outer part of the coaster. And I've got some uh, batting and my fabrics cut to size. First off, I'm going to hoop my washaway stabiliser. And now I'm going to float a piece of cutaway on top of that. The reason I do this is so that the stitching is still supported once the wash away has been washed away. And I will float that on top of my wash away stabiliser here. And I'm just going to put a little bit of tape down just to hold it taut while the outline's being stitched. Okay, I'm now going to put this into my machine and I'm going to stitch around number one, which is the outline. I'm going to place my batting over the outline and then my fabric over the top of that and just check that the outline is actually covered by both your batting and your fabric. I'm going to pop that in my machine and stitch around to number two which is going to secure this and give me the placement for adding the next fabric. I'm now going to place uh, in a fabric over the center here. Now if you've got a really dark fabric um, here and you're putting a lighter one on top and it's going to show through you can actually cut out this middle piece here just um, just don't cut the stitching I'm not going to have to worry about that because I'm putting red on top of this plain red so I'm going to place my fabric over the top and I want to make sure that it covers this inner stitch line I'm now going to just tape that in place so that it doesn't move during stitching. I'm going to pop this back in my machine and stitch around number three, which is going to secure the fabric. I'm going to remove the tape now. And then trim up all the excess fabric uh, from around the inner um, part. So I'm just going to cut up to the line, the stitch line that is. Next, I'm going to place my sewing machine fabric over this area here. And once again, I'm going to tape it in place so that it doesn't shift while it's being stitched. And now I'm going to pop it in my machine and stitch round number four which is going to stitch that fabric down. I've put a lighter thread in my machine to go with my lighter fabric and I'm now going to stitch round number four to secure my machine fabric. We're now going to cut away around um, the edge of the sewing machine to trim away all the excess. I'm now going to pop that into my machine and stitch round number five, which is the zigzagging of the raw edges. The next area to be stitched is the quilting 
all around the inner frame here. So I've changed my thread to red again and I'm now going to stitch round number six. The next area to be stitched is the edge of the inner frame. So I've changed my thread to green and I'm now going to stitch round number seven. I've changed my thread to grey and I'm now going to stitch round number eight which is the satin stitching around the machine and the machine details. I've changed my thread to golden yellow and I'm now going to stitch round number nine which is the thread. It's now time to add the backing, so I'm going to turn my hoop over, place the fabric over the outline and I'm going to tape it down. If you prefer to float it on the back you can do that of course. Okay, now Something that you can do with this is you can either use it for a coaster or you can ha add a piece of ribbon so that it can actually be hung up on your wall and I'm going to show you how to do that. Now I've got a couple of pins here and obviously I can't see where I need to place it so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop a couple of pins through here so that it can be seen from the back and that's where I'm going to place my ribbon on the other side so I'm going to go just do my two fingers width and you can measure this if you want to get it really accurate it's entirely up to you I'm just going to bring that in this one in slightly that looks about right to me so now I'm going to turn it back over and where I've got these pins is where I'm going to add my ribbon and I'm just going to lay it down and tape it in place. That way when the back is stitched on it's also going to stitch through the ribbon and attach it to the back. Now I like to lay mine so that it's facing downwards so that there's the option to either hang it or not without it getting in the way. Okay, so that's my tape in place. So a little bit here just to hold that to stop it flopping. And the same here. I'm now going to pop that back into my machine and I'm going to stitch round number 11, which is going to attach the back. But before I do that, I'm just going to remove my pins. Now that the back is attached, I can now turn this over and trim off all the excess fabric. I'm going to do a trim it off from both back and front, but I'm going to start with the back so that it doesn't get forgotten. So first off I'll remove all the tape. And I can now trim this up. I'm going to do the same in the front and I'm also going to trim up the jump threads that are um, between the stitching and um, here. Okay, so now I'm going to trim up the front fabric. And I'm now going to remove both the batting and the cutaway stabiliser as well. Okay, the thing I am going to do, I'm just going to pop a little bit of tape just here to hold that out away so that it doesn't 
get caught up when I do the next round of satin stitching. Okay, I'm now going to pop that back into my machine and stitch the last round, which is the satin stitching around the edging. And I'm going to carry on and do this with my uh, yellow gold thread. One thing I am going to do though is put the matching bobbin in this time because it's going to be seen from both sides. Now that the stitching's finished, I'm going to free this from my hoop and I'm just going to cut it away reasonably close to the stitching. But obviously not cutting the stitching itself. I can now remove that as well. I'm just going to trim up these little threads here. Okay, let's clear this aside. So all that remains now is for me to take my little dish of water and a cotton bud and run it around the edge to make the wash away stabilizer dissolve. And there it is, my hanging coaster. I hope you enjoyed this stitch along. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to be notified of new ones as they're released. And thank you very much for joining me.